Hi, everyone. I'm Negin Mada. I'm going to present our research structural evolution of co-creation in Wikipedia, which is conducted by my advisor, Professor Baba Kedari, and I in Industrial Engineering Department at Northeastern University. And I hope Wiki Workshop finds this presentation useful. So I'm going to start with a brief introduction on online co-creation teams. As you know, co-creation is crucial for organizations, but its landscape has been significantly transformed because of digital technologies, especially web. And nowadays, digital platforms aren't just tools anymore. They have become central to shaping, mediating, and governing collaborative designs. Interactions within these uh, online teams have become more decentralized in comparison to uh, hierarchical structures. There is this notable shift towards shared leadership adopted, like widely adopted in organizations. So we want to explore the dynamics of these online teams. So we have digital platform-driven collaboration on one side and traditional organizational collaboration on the other side. Co-creation happens within their interaction networks. So we want to study the behavior of these networks in these two different settings. But how do we do that? When we study the structure of a network, we can see the how the information flows inside it. So we can find out about its behavior, its performance. We can predict its performance. And as like future steps, we can also um, enable improvement by network level interventions. So the first step is to study the structure of a network. We use Wikipedia network of editors as our case study because it's truly decentralized. It's platform driven. Each article can be used as one artifact. Each, which has its own age and scale, and also the data is available. But it had its potential concerns, but overall, Wikipedia Editors Network is a testament to a global decentralized co-creation team. We can consider one artifact as one article in Wikipedia over time. So as you can see, and as you may know, each version of that artifact, if we consider, for example, each um, six month version of the artifact is created by different people in different structure of the teams. So what we call it is collaboration evolution. Um, so this is our methodology. First, we need to select the domain. Then we need to get the data. Then we need to form the networks, which are beyond direct messages. And then we need to analyze the structure of the networks. And the first step, we have selected five main domains, politics, international conflicts, disasters, technology and business, and entertainment. And we have uh, some sample articles for each domain. We get the data by the revision history of Wikipedia API. We need the user ID of each collaborator, the timestamp of their revisions, and the content of their revisions. And as you can see, the start date of the articles that we have selected are somewhere between 2009 and 2022. We form the networks as each collaborator, each editor, is one node in our network, and the collaboration between each pair uh, is the edge. So the way we um, calculate the weight of these edges is uh, by alternating timed interactions, which is a measure that we introduced to have um, to actually capture the timely alternating activities of two um, editors. And also the similarity of the content of their revision is also an important um, dimension of their weights of the edges, which is calculated by NLP techniques. So we create the networks. We prune the networks based on a threshold on their weights of the edges. And then generally we reach to um, more than 800 networks. We analyze the structure networks in four dimensions. The first one is knowledge sharing flow captured by average degree of the structure. Uh, second one is ideas propagation speed captured by average shortest path length. The third one is uh, sub-community formation by clustering coefficient. And the last one is decentralized leadership captured by a centralization coefficient. So our methodology in one shot. Uh, so overall, we have um, our fundings of Wikipedia editors. And then on the other hand, we're using um, Jacob and Watts finding a decent study published in Management Science Journal, which uh, they have studied over 65 US organization networks as our traditional organizational collaborations. So the first one, team interconnectivity, you can see that in Jacob and Watt's study, um, when the network grows inside here in x-axis, uh, the average degree actually stays constant. They say it's because of cognitive limit, which makes sense. But here in Wikipedia, interestingly, in all of our domains, we can see that interconnectivity actually grows when the network grows inside. It's because 
uh, two possible causes. The first one is that artifact center platforms enable focusing one problem at a time. So it can enable cognitive capabilities during the interactions. And also because of the authority of the um, agents, which is allowed because of the de uh, decentralized leadership. The second measure is sub-community formation. Uh, so you can see that in traditional findings and all the previous settings of uh, in um, network science, whenever a network grows inside, there are less, there are like fewer clusters in them. But in Wikipedia, interestingly, the clustering coefficient was much higher than traditional settings. And also it actually, on top of that, it, um, the number of clusters also growed when the network growed in size. So there are like more sub-communities even when the network is uh, much bigger. The third one is the speed of information propagation. Um, so in recent studies, uh, it was saying that whenever the network gets larger, the shortest path length between uh, two pairs of the nodes uh, is actually like growing. So the speed is going down. But here in Wikipedia, we can see that this is what happening till the mid-sized teams. But after that, the shortest path length is actually like decreasing um, very much in some domains. So the last measure is centralized leadership. You can see that um, there are like so many patterns for between uh, centralization and the size of the network. But interestingly, in Wikipedia, whenever the network grows inside, it's actually more decentralized. And uh, the centralization is actually much less than uh, the centralization in previous studies. So um, generally, you can see that the structural behavior of digital platforms in Wikipedia are significantly different from traditional teams. And this is very important to the uh, designers or the governors of these uh, digital platforms. And thank you for listening to me. Um, and I hope this presentation is useful.